Let's take a look at how to add a directory to your path. When you add a directory to your path, this will give you the ability to type the name of that command without having to type the entire full path to that command. So there's a command that I want to use that's in opt foma bin called foma. And if I type that full command just like this and hit enter, then I will be able to run that command. Okay, so now I'm inside FOMA. You don't need to know what FOMA does at this point, but I have, su I have successfully started FOMA. Okay, I'm going to now type exit to get out of FOMA. But what if I just wanted to type FOMA instead of having to type user or opt whatever it was, uh, opt FOMA bin FOMA. That's inconvenient to type every time. So I'm going to open an editor. I use Emacs. If you use VI, that's fine. If you don't know anything, for the moment you can use Nano, which gives you on-screen instructions for how to use it. In general, though, you should know how to use VI or Emacs. So I'm going to Emacs, use Emacs to open a file, and it's going to be called dot bash rc. Okay. And when I hit enter, it will open it. <sighs> Whoops. Because I have X forwarding enabled in this session, it opened it in a graphical user interface. I don't want that, so I'm going to close it. And I'm going to try again. And I'm going to tell Emacs, no window. That's better. OK. All right. So there's a bunch of stuff in here that may or may not be in your .bashrc file. If you see stuff you don't understand for the moment, just ignore it. And we're going to scroll down. So I'm going to use the arrow key to scroll down until I find a section that talks about path. Capital P A T H. Dot bash RC. So we're opening the file dot bash RC. Right there. Dot bash RC. Tilde slash dot bash RC is the file that we're opening. Okay, and then if you know how to search in your editor, you can just search for path. Mine is at the end. Okay. Now, you may not have a file, uh, a line that looks like that. You probably don't. Uh, if you don't, what you're going to do is add a file that looks like that. So, in my directory, I have some other things that are useful for me. So, I have a directory called Teacher's Pet that is some additional helper scripts that I use when setting up homework repositories on GitHub. So there's a number of scripts in my directory. It's a hidden directory. It's called dot teachers pet. Because it has a dot, at it, it's a hidden directory. Uh, but then in teachers pet bin, I've got those scripts. What we're adding here is this part. So we're going to add opt foma bin to my path. So pretend this wasn't here. Pretend Let's put this on a different line. So at some other point, I had decided that Teacher's Pet was, had some useful things. At some other point, I decided that SRI LM had some interesting things that I wanted to put into my path. The man path is for man pages, so that when you type man and then something, the man page shows up. Uh, SRI LM has man pages, so I added that to the man path, which is similar to the path, but for man pages. So let's add a line that looks like this. Export path equals, and in doing this, we are defining a value for the bash variable called path. So I want to say that path is equal to opt foma 
bin. Okay? So that means that any programs that are executable that are inside opt foma bin will be executable in my path. Something strange? You might not have one. Oh. It may well be that you don't already have any lines like, that look like this. That's totally normal if you don't. That's totally normal if you don't. So if you don't, just create the line that I'm creating right now that says export path equals. Doesn't matter where. Doesn't matter where. Doesn't matter where. I would encourage you to put it at the end. Okay. After everything. At, like scroll to the very bottom of your file, yeah. of your .bashrc file, and then we'll put it at the end. Um, and now this next part's very important. Yes? So when I open it up, I got a blank thing. Do I still add all of that? If you, opened a, if you opened this up and it was completely blank, that almost certainly means that you opened the wrong file. Okay. So, oh, I yep, so it should look like this. It should be tilde slash dot bash rc. I'm guessing if you opened a blank file, then what you did was this. You probably did bash rc like that. And if you do that, it will in fact open a completely blank file because there's no file named that, presumably, and now I have to remember how to get out of them. Okay, all right. By the way, if you ever get stuck in Vim, there's a very simple solution. You open up a web browser. And you Google, how do I get out of Vim? <laughs> and it will take you to the single most popular article on Stack Overflow. This is, I kid you not, the most viewed article on all of Stack Overflow. So Stack Overflow is a great place where you can ask questions and get them answered. And if you look over here, this question has been viewed 1,184,000 times as of this moment. Okay? And this page will tell you how to get out of them. Okay, the solution is you press colon Q. Yeah. Or if you've made some edits, like somehow you got yourself into insert mode and you're not sure how, and you made some edits, and then you try to quit, it won't work. First I have to hit escape, and then I hit Q, and then it doesn't work, and then it's like, what's the next exclamation point for? And then I hit escape again a couple of times and hope that it works again. Now I try Q, exclamation point, which means, no, really, I mean it, let me out. Okay, without saving. Okay, so we're back to this. Okay. We're adding a line that looks like export path equals opt foma bin. Now this part's very important or you'll be totally screwed up later. Then I do colon dollar sign path. I highly recommend that you always put your variables when you reference them in bash inside curly braces. This helps to disambiguate things. Um, it would work if you did this instead, but I don't like that. So I always do that, okay? All right, so now export is going to make sure that this is visible outside of the script to any children that this script has, uh, any child processes. And so we're saying path equals opt foma bin, colon, and then whatever else was there beforehand. Okay, so we're appending this file, th this directory, or more accurately, we are prepending it. We could also append it. Uh, yes? Do you have to do the same for the teacher's the first time? Yes, I absolutely would. Thank you. Yep. So what would have happened if I had done that, if I had left that off on that line, if I hadn't fixed it? Then anything that had previously been in my path would no longer be in my path. And there's some very important things in my path. So earlier in, in this file, probably in Etsy bash RC, 
there's a line that looks something like this. User bin, bin, s bin, like that, that has all of the system directories where most of the real programs that I would actually be using are. So if I had left that off, like that, then I wouldn't have things, I wouldn't have those things in my path. So uh, some things are shell built in, so I'd still be okay. Like there's a CD that's a shell built in, but I'm pretty sure that LS is not a shell built in. I think that's an actual program that's in either bin or user bin. And so I wouldn't be able to use LS, which would be bad. Uh, or rather, I would have to invoke it with its full path, which would be how I would fix it. I would have to probably do slash user slash bin slash emacs to open this file again and then fix it. OK. OK, all right. So you should have added something that looks like this to somewhere in your bash RC file, ideally at the end. And then we're going to save it, because I know how to save in Emacs. Um, and you should know how to save in whatever text editor you are using. I don't have anything against VI. I just didn't learn it early. Um, actually, that's not true. I do have things against VI. It's, it was designed for like 56 baud modems. But uh, anyway. Um, all right. OK, so now we're out. Now the problem is what we just added hasn't set yet. So there's two things that we could do. We could either do source dot bash rc and then it'll be fine. It'll reload the bash rc file or the easier thing to do is just exit, log out, and then once I get my terminal back, I'll log back in and then it'll be invoked. Then FOMA will be in my path. I don't know why it's not letting me log out, but that's another issue. Okay. So that is how to add something to your path.